Reports coming out of Turkey today that Everton are lining up a £16.5 million bid for Besiktas forward Semi Kilicuy. The 19-year-old already has half a century of appearances for the Istanbul side and has contributed to that with 12 goals and 7 assists. He is thought to be one of Turkey's top talents. Obviously, Arda Guler is the, the main one, but Kilicuy is another one that you have very, very high hopes for. Again, a change in strategy, perhaps, from Everton trying to buy in some younger players lots of links to younger players now and we know that that was one of the stipulations the freaking group have put into AS Roma uh, they want to play under 23 and maybe some of that is filtering down to Everton as obviously that takeover moves ever closer um, it's definitely where Everton needs to be moving into that sort of age bracket of getting these players in highly rated players and seeing whether we can develop and improve the team as well a few Everton, young Everton players on loan was a first clean sheet for Billy Crellin during the weekend. It was his fourth successive start in League Two for Accrington Stanley uh, and the result marked their third victory in a row. Uh, Billy Crellin made two important saves across the 90 minutes to ensure that Accrington held on for an important three points. They in action again tonight, actually, 7.45 taken on. MK Dons. Uh, Jensen Metcalf, who'd been part of Evans' first team squad at times, made his second consecutive start for Chesterfield at the weekend uh, after starting last time in a 2 2 draw against Notts County. Uh, young forward Francis Onkaronku played for Salford on Saturday, featuring in his eighth League Two game so far this season. But it was an afternoon to forget for young Everton defender Eli Campbell. The 20-year-old defender, a regular for Ross County this season, was sent off after receiving a second yellow card in the 31st minute of their defeat. Former Arsenal midfield player Aaron Ramsey has revealed that he nearly joined Everton. Uh, Ramsey was speaking on Sky Sports last night where he was a pundit for the Forest Palace game. Uh, he revealed that he went to David Moyes' house. He said he invited me round there. He was brilliant, very accommodating. And it was a real moment for me to be in his living room and have him go through all the plans that he would have for me. But the deal just wasn't to be. Uh, we knew this at the time. Obviously, David Moyes had, had identified. He was really good at this identifying young talent, uh, and he, he he went you know big for Aaron Ramsey and tried to get him in. But Arsenal had obviously and Arsenal Wenger obviously been looking at him closely. And the minute they knew that Everton were edging towards a deal, Wenger came in and and stole him from underneath David Moyes' nose, really. But he he went on and made what, over three hundred appearances for Arsenal, play for Juventus as well. Excellent footballer, still playing for Cardiff, wants to get into management as well. Uh, but he'd have been a great sign for Everton, one of the ones that got away. Um, let's hope that becomes a thing of the past. Certainly, if we're going back to, like I said, right at the start of this bulletin, with they uh, going after young talent, try and get them in and develop them. And and turn them into real good players for Everton Football Club. Ramsey certainly would have been that. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you check out the Adrian Heath Inside the Game podcast. Uh, go and check that out on the More Than the Games channel. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Oh, and also check out the 1878 FM podcast as well, and that's out. See you later.